we're here today to announce that Michelle Boucher was 18 years old when she disappeared from her family's home in Texas. For the past 35 years, her family has not known where she was or what happened to her, and for the past three and a half decades, they've waited for information as to what happened to her. Finally, this weekend, that information came to the family. Unfortunately, they learned that their daughter had been assaulted and murdered in Minnesota in 1980. The body of a young woman was found in a ravine near Blue Earth, Minnesota on May 30, 1980. Her killer confessed to the crime nine years later. He's in prison now for that crime and others. But investigators had been unable to determine the victim's identity, and her body was interned at the Riverside Cemetery in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Last fall, as part of our ongoing efforts to learn the identities of Minnesota's missing um, and unidentified human remains, the BCA worked with the Faribault County Sheriff's Office and other uh, community members to exhume the victim's body. Since then, the BCA has coordinated a series of scientific tests and other methods to try to identify her. Those steps, including repeated efforts to uh, obtain enough DNA from her remains to help identify her. And this month, we were su successful. I would like to express my condolences, as well as those of the Bureau, to the family and friends of Michelle Boucher. Although we now have some answers after 35 years of waiting, I'm certain that this is not the conclusion that they were hoping for. Ms. Boucher's family's decision to come forward all those years ago to provide samples was key. We wouldn't be sending her home otherwise after all these years. She would still be Faribault County's Jane Doe. The BCA's dedication to the missing and unidentified of Minnesota has allowed us to develop specialized testing techniques for some of the most difficult cases such as this one. Although it was ultimately a DNA match that brought us to this point, this match could not have happened without all the hard work and dedication of every agency and individual who has been involved over the years. Michelle's family has experienced a terrible loss, but they are now have answers about what has happened to their daughter. This is a case of not who done it, but who was she. So we finally got those answers now and with the technology that they've used and it was a, a very good ending for the family to, to at least know that uh, they found her. Um, early on, we were able to do a certain type of testing on a blood stain that we had retained um, from the beginning, from, from the initial investigation. We were able to do mitochondrial DNA testing on that. That is a testing that's very useful in linking family members together. It's maternally inherited. But in order to get the more, more informative uh, form of DNA, which is the nuclear DNA, it's inherited by both family members, both mom and dad. We, it was necessary to obtain another sample, and we were able to get that information from the uh, skeletal remains that were obtained from the exhumation. The BCA, through all of our investigations and then our forensic science laboratory, every time that we have advances in technology, we re-examine these cold cases and unidentified remains cases. And the plea that we continue to make is if that families have missing uh, family members, that they contact us so that we can get samples of their DNA to use to compare when we do these uh, examinations in our laboratory.